Well, I got some good outtakes for bloopers. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Guys, oh my goodness. We had some technical we... difficulties tonight. And then I... some personal difficulties mentally, physically, and socially. That's yeah, just, just, I mean, we shared and <clears throat> we things just were choppy. Yeah. Here's, all right, here's, so here's <laughs> what happened. Oh my goodness. Uh, realistically, we we tried to make a nice little intro for you guys for the first time, you know, just real set it up and yeah. we what we thought, oh what you know what would be a great intro? The song from Thor Ragnarok, which by the way, for those who don't know, is a song called <clears throat> Immigrant by the Zep. Yeah, Led Zeppelin. I mean Immigrant Song is like a really famous, you know, song by Led Zeppelin from the seventies, nineteen seventy to be exact. Not eighteen seventies, guys. Yeah, it's I know we It's like, geez, we seriously we got content ID immediately, yeah, immediately, and the video got killed. It it's like, like your dang. video was deleted, and it's like your video's off. Hopefully, you're, that's why we've retitled this one the uh, law, the impending lawsuit. Yeah, the I and mean, so hopefully like, Susie yeah. comes back. I'm gonna comment on the other video and just tell people. Yeah, come on uh, back, y'all. But yeah, so sorry about that. We were just trying to set it up, have the nice little comments things. Maybe we were subliminal advertising our share button. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not so subliminally. Not gonna lie. But no, we uh, we really didn't mean for the video to go down. It wasn't our, our thing. It was Facebook saying nope. Yeah, Facebook we thought it was, was us for a second. We we're like, what? Yeah, the video, the stream's was... doing fine. What happened? And then all of a sudden, boom, we were down. We were. I mean, it, it was, was pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie. Quickly, it was. Uh, we're sorry about that, good. guys. I mean, we're we're back, and Thor Ragnarok is in, you guys. Thor Ragnarok. Oh, like I mean, it's just like. We're facing a new side of Thor that we've never seen in All the right, MCU. And here's, and here's the one thing, though. We are seeing a new side of Thor, but at the same time, we've got this kind of, like, ridiculous <laughs> dichotomy slash, like... I guess the opposite of what you would think. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, Ragnarok should probably be like the darkest, craziest Thor. Yeah, you know, everything's ending. Ragnarok, by the way, people means end of the world, like you said. Yep. In uh, Norse and Norse mythology, that's... I believe when the giant dog Fenrir, blah blah blah, or something, or maybe the Midgar serpent, right? He fights and dies. Oh, I mean, things just get destroyed, bro. There's a whole thing, and someone asked that we uh, <clears throat> do the official Ragnarok story. I don't know the official Ragnarok story. I read it like once when a friend gave it to yeah, me. Yeah, I did as well, and it was like kind of a glimpse. I, but I just, yeah, there's a, there's a huge and... mythology behind that. If someone wants to like give us some stuff for that, we'll gladly talk about it a little bit. But this is but... a little more about comics. Mm -hmm. And more specifically, the Thor thing, which, guys, I'm s just so excited for that. I mean... And there's just more Thor to come. Like, there's more, you know... But it seems so light. Worthy Thor. It and seems so light. It is light. It's it's a good dose. And that's the best thing about Thor stuff, is it lightly comes out. Well, you know... It, it just... does. Even think about the original Thor. Like, it ends up being fairly dark. I mean, it's a whole hammer loss thing, which is funny, because that's the whole thing current Thor is dealing with. Yeah. Or it was dealing with. I mean, now he's kind of over that to the point like he just, you know, he's done trying to Super fix it. Super done. Yeah. But in this one, it's, we talked about it. It's got a very Guardians feel, which a lot of the films have. Yeah, it does. I mean, like. Even the even the graphics for Ragnarok. Were yeah, kind of, like the, the they were kind of zoomy like Guardians of the Galaxy. Like had that 70s I, feel. I will say, though, that uh, Kevin Smith's review on this and his live reaction to it was great was because. He talked about it's like very metal still. Like it's a hype, very high, like hmm. happier metal, but it's like very still metal really? fighting. I mean, and you look at it like I wish we could go through the trailer and then talk about it because there's a tons of stuff from the trailer that are like spoilers and stuff. Even me and uh, Leo were t looking at this thing that I had seen in a Facebook cut earlier that I wanted to recheck in that there it looks like when Mjolnir gets destroyed, there's someone with uh Thor. There's someone with him in the alleyway. We it looks like to my perspective. I mean when we were looking at stuff. Exactly. Yeah. It, it just looked good, you know. There were things that there were visuals that we finally got to see about some of the characters. It's like, oh wow, she crushed Neil I we, I didn't know that was gonna happen. <clears throat> Agreed. Like who would I didn't know she destroyed the hammer. I thought in the comic that she just trapped it. She usually did. I and that was one thing I had uh I was worried about for this because I didn't know. Oh, hey, look, Susie's here and her fiancé joined and Craig Ware shared. Hey. Uh, you're so disappointed in the... I'm sorry, Susie, we looked at the damn comments. We're back. And you're so disappointed in that trailer? I loved it. Why? Why? Yeah. Why disappointed? What's up, Elijah? Craig? Good to see you guys. 
Thank you so much for joining. Us. Sorry we were joining, late to get yes. to the comments. Um, we were uh, dealing with stuff and things. Technology was just whew, yep. not our friend tonight. Not tonight. That stuff happens though. So, uh, we did start a little late tonight, but that's okay. It happens. But guys, <clears throat> think about this. We've got this side of Thor that we haven't really seen before. And it's a more comedic side, a little bit, a little lighter, kind of like a little more lighthearted. At the same time, like, all right, so this seemed like There's such a lighthearted stuff. Going like, yeah, on. <laughs> everything's shit. Like, as much as it's like so, they play it down so much. It seems like There's in this trailer, but crazy it stuff looks like Asgard on. gets basically destroyed or at least taken over. One of the two, Thor, obviously loses Mjolnir and gets captured. Here's that's the other big problem with this is we thought it might be akin to the. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming trailer and that it revealed, revealed too much, too much. Yeah. of the storyline, especially it really bringing it home. It feels like it might not have because there might. It feels like there's another storyline behind this that's going to lead to lead the bigger, to the bigger picture. Especially when it be too know, much, though. And it's a little bit of spoiler, not really necessarily given in the trailer, and more because we keep track of it. But we know Goldblum is the Grandmaster. Yeah, who is, for people who don't know is an, is a Eternal and like this level of high bullshit that he's yeah, unkillable. Yeah, he's pretty, and, pretty just beastly like yeah. he's he's god modded they haven't established Crazy. the whole situation yet i don't want to give away stuff yeah you're right though you're i mean, I mean if they it's a trailer right this is yet. not the movie so you know what's I mean, up asia if Good someone can it. look at the trailer as if thor's hammer broke yeah that was i mean, I mean it's was... broken before but not by hella usually except maybe in her domain in niflheim it or hell back, though i mean geez i mean yeah but not uh, he has to reforge it and all this shit he does the other oh. thing people are worried about the hair, and I know that's the thing. Where is Psy? Good question. Maybe he had to go to bed. Maybe. Might have had to do something. That's all right. I mean, we miss Psy. He does deserve to win something here, too. He's been here every week. <laughs> uh, yeah, for real. <clears throat> and then I just got a comment from Izzy that we'll have to talk to him after the convo and finish up. We're... We've sent out prizes for the, not this last week. We're going to do that tonight. Yep. We're going to give them uh, that one tonight. While we pick <clears throat> this next week's winners. By the way, I guess we could start with that. Asia, yes, the hair. The hair. Of course, yeah. I knew you'd talk about that. Mm -hmm. But it's so classic. Yeah, What's that's up, that's comic accurate, though. That's so comic accurate. It is. Unworthy it Thor. Clip down. It clips down to that <laughs> short. Like, not saying I caught the haircut from him early, but... <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, man. But Flip seriously. Down. Um, but if we wanted we could take this second and kind of show people what prizes we have going on. Mm hmm ah, Um, dang. it's the Thor week, guys, and like I said, we're not able to show you the trailer, so we've gotta show you some prizes. Like there's no way we can't show you some prizes. In my car. We'll show you some prizes later. Yes. <laughs> we'll share them right after. Yeah. Or I'll go. Book, I'll, I'll book and get them. If we don't necessarily have. Well, just know that there's going to be four Thor comics up for grabs. Some really good ones too. I mean, trust me, Leo has gotten a great stash from this one nice pickup. So if he's telling you they're great, they're pretty annual awesome. Ele un annual. <clears throat> annual. Hey, Sai just 11. got here. Hey. Yeah. What's Welcome, up, Sai? He just seems less Norse with short hair, but at the same time, like. I feel like there was a whole thing about North short hair where it was like some thing. Like, I know they were typically long haired. Wolverine stuff? No uh -huh, worries, Sai. Feel free to listen. <clears throat> Only type yeah, when you feel, feel needed. Uh, we're going to be talking a bunch, so, you know. A lot about Thor, too. Oh, God, I love it. So, I think tonight's going to be a Thor homage night, honestly. Yeah, like, we could honestly stuff make a lot on. of references and stuff. Like, there's other stuff going on tonight, guys, but to be honest... What's going on that's hype is that right now? That's like besides the fact that Guardians is a month out. Yeah, that's I mean, so awesome. So check this out. I was um, answering questions on Quora.com mm -hmm. this week. I answered a question about Thor, and it was about it was like about the trailer a little bit. And one of the one of the people asked me like, "What? How could she destroy this?" And I was just like, "Well." If you kind of look at her mythology a little bit, she's a lot more powerful than Thor at the beginning of the mythology a little bit. I mean, it just depends. If, if you're talking MCU mythology, or M M MC, just Marvel Comics, or are we talking like North mythology? North. Okay, but even in North mythology, when you go to the very 
classic, classic North mythology. Hella, and that's one thing I liked about Marvel Comics as, as can, well, I think DC did it too. They were very accurate to their DC, mythologies. DC, holy shit. Yeah. But they Excuse were very... language, y'all, but jeez, it's yeah. like, man. Wonder Woman's coming. <sighs> Wonder Woman, oh my goodness. Judas Contract, by the way, guys, was awesome. Saw it. Judas Contract, guys, was like, kind of, it had a lot of romance in it, but it, it was the, like all right, a good The real touch. thing was, is it was like a throwback to the Titans. It was. It was like, awesome, they're reunited. I will say it was very adult. <clears throat> it like was. A lot of it. And it was a different Titans team. And I liked the homage, like the first little piece, yeah. where it showed the original Titans when Dick Grayson was leaving. Right, them. right. I was like, damn, they're real disciplined But even more shit. like than that, I mean, there's still the whole Terra Beast spine. Thank you, Susie. We love you, Thank too. Thank you. We love you, too. What's up, Jessica? Good to see you. So awesome to see everybody here. Feel free to type and tell us. Like we try to interact. Yeah, it takes a little know. pause from us to you, probably like thirty seconds to a minute. But yes, but... let us know. Definitely, definitely, let us know what you guys think. <clears throat> but yes, guys. I mean, we've got so many good, good things coming. So up. much, and I mean, I mean, even Homecoming. Like, even though the trailer was a bit revealing, there's still things that are a mystery. It's like how does how does Iron Man even get there in the first place? So like it's like mm, like you well, know we kind of there but like, a little bit but, a little bit. Mm, but what, what, the other thing is we've like, heard that he doesn't have that many scenes. He's four to six scenes. Four to six, and it's like people think from the trailer. I think that's pretty much all he's in. Is what he's in the trailer a little bit more maybe. The look on Thor's face when the Hulk came out. Yeah, he's just like yes. yes! Like everyone else that looks like, what? <laughs> what? Why are you so excited? We, we know, know each, each other. other. He's, He's a, a friend, friend from work. <laughs> it's like, yes, that is exactly how Ooh. Thor would react to that. How like ironic he... that last week we were discussing Hulk versus Godzilla, and then the trailer comes out with Thor and Hulk. Ha ha, we're witches. <laughs> wow, predicting. I know. Uh, it's like she's. <clears throat> Uh, definitely can't wait for that though. That'll be an awesome geez, gladiator match, dude. I can't wait, especially they show him with but, weapons. I mean, it's like okay, okay. What do you, what do you think is gonna happen in that? So, realistically, they're gonna have to show Thor winning, right? It's his movie, and that's more than a and fight. Plus, they... Stan Lee himself said that Thor will win. I, I mean, mean, it's like he, he, it's been shown on it's several shown occasions on that several. Endgame Thor beats Endgame Hulk. So. Yep. If you want to talk about any of that, and people are always like, oh, Hulk, this. The strongest Hulk ever seen, if, if you don't know, is depicted by Pac in, uh, it's a post in his ending run to the World War Hulk series. What's up, Sterling? Good which I you. saw in a Century vs. Hulk forum. Don't get me started. But it's it shows totally... Hulk punching his way and, like, destroying the Dark Dimension out of his way. And it's like, you know, fucking Thor has done stuff like that multiple times across uh, space stuff. time boundaries i mean no, thor no. i feel like has been under exaggerated and here's the, the thing MCU, most people bro. most people oh much much so, under the thing is even in the comics thor is often like chopped down to whatever level they want him to be because he can't be so his ultimate power he'd be unfuckwithable you know what i mean i mean he held two mule nears and just crushed Crush. an enemy jeez that's crazy. insanity but my even bigger one is a figure if you go read the run on rune king thor in 99 it shows him to sh he conquers the world Superman injustice yeah, style. <laughs> not even technically conquers it. You know what he basically does? Is he says you're not allowed to fight each other. Nope. That's it. That's all he says. Oh. He doesn't stop crime or any of that shit. You know what he does? He provides enough bounty and wealth and water for everybody to have enough to not have to work. Pretty Legit. Crazy. It's an insane timeline if you guys have never seen it. He takes over the whole thing. It's when Odin dies and this whole thing against Surtur. He gets... The Odin Force, and then at the end of that run, he like plucks out both of his eyes, Holy so that crap. he was omniscient <laughs> and omnipresent. That's unlike so Odin, who dope. only took out one. He was, it was, he had all of the runes, like all of the Asgardian runes, mm -hmm. he had under his command and total control. Uh, I want to say there was a ton of other feats he did where he just went out and became this badass. Sorry, That's somebody right. said I've never the really understood. Thor is an actual god; he shouldn't have any competition at all. Exactly. I mean, his powers are often under exaggerated and underwritten, but sometimes he's been written to like the ultimate power. And like you said, he took over an entire timeline. He's like, 
Boom. Very much crazy levels of. And I mean, in that timeline, in that timeline, he defeats the entire Entire pantheon pantheon. of the gods. Yeah, all the Zeus, everybody. He just blows them out, and like Zeus beats the crap out of Superman at some point. And And yeah, I'm "Eh, just saying, like, like, there's a lot of like levels of. That's all right, who are you level. really? There are. There's levels to this shit, and you even get higher than that. We, uh, the argument being versus like the century, like who could really beat the century? All right, then they start throwing out names like Molecule Man and this and that. And that's Molecule Man gets wiped. Uh, that's post retcon Molecule Man though. First that's of all, true. that's and, very true. Right? And I want to say the century is written as strong or as weak as he needs to be yep. in any situation. Definitely, especially with his very specific agoraphobia weakness. Yep, and there's so like, there, like the time when he popped up and he's like, I would love some heroin right now. Kind of a little bit weaker, like mentally especially. Well, it's just like fun. weird. It's like sometimes he's, you know, hi, see, Jazz. Hello, Jasmine. It's good to see you. How's baby <laughs> yes, doing? he's a friend from work. Yes. yes. Awesome. Obviously, like... we're going to see what happened to Hulk after Age of Ultron rather than told, right? I mean, I hope it's the... I kind of hope it's the Planet Hulk thing. Like, it seems like that's kind of what they're chopping off. But it might be an MCU original. You I know, think it's going to be a yeah. com- combo like most yeah, of them like are. Because, like, you see uh, things like, all right, so Iron Man 3 is a good example where that is a combo of an original storyline story, mixed yeah, with, with a, a Iron Man storyline. Because there's the whole extremist storyline, and then you also have the original kind of line in there with the Heck enemy. Yeah, dude. It's, and the Mandarin was the only, dis- the most disappointing part Just of that. It's got a throw out love for the attire this week oh thanks so much did you see the jack kirby homage at the end of the trailer uh did did they jack kirby oh it was the the scene the scene it was that one scene the the i can't watch the trailer but i've seen it i know what he's talking about it's like this it's the very like very like small scene at the end of, sh- of the trailer you gotta check it out it's god here let me see if i can pinpoint it in here without like actually playing this bitch oh that one yeah yeah Definitely. but it's hard to explain but did you watch the Legion season finale? Yep. Yes. Finished that. I Excellent. finished that the, like the day of. I, and I was just like, that. that was crazy. I I did not expect that to happen. To be honest with you, uh, wow. <laughs> I really want to see it on screen too, side. Like I want to see Hulk in his own thing, but it's so hard. I I think honestly it'd be better to piece him together. And then technically, an Incredible Hulk is an MCU film, confirmed. Ah, uh, but still though, it's it's not the justice he deserves, but it is an MCU film. Season two like, will be yeah. amazing, especially for anyone who stayed past the post credit scenes on season one exactly. finale. Yep, <laughs> that was awesome. So much. I can't, I'm guessing, Shiar. I guess so. I mean, That's, who else would it? That be? would be the only logical explanation. Like. I'm trying to think of who else has beef with Legion, but most people have beef. But who knows? This is a kind of an original thing. It really is. I mean, there's a slight connection to a private... We've talked about the other Shadow King storyline yep. that's similar, but not the same. This one definitely has more roots and like a deeper... This one was crazy, dude. Dude, the ending was insane. Insane scene. Like, who's like, driving the car, driven. man? Oh. Like, Whoa, oh, yeah, I told you. The crazy. end... I told you, those last three episodes are way crazier than the first four Wow, combined. I was like, oh my goodness. Especially when he's talking to himself. That was a great yeah, one. Yeah, And like, he's English. Crap. That's great. <laughs> and when Lenny like, just like crawling towards the chicks and they're like, uh, like, oh my God. Dude. Travelers on Netflix. So I'll have to check it out after we catch up on all the DC yeah, stuff definitely. as well. Stayed. Yes, secrets revealed. Indeed. We'll have to see. I mean, there's no way to tell. And I don't know how fast they're going to pump it out. Uh, Defenders coming out, coming guys. Out. Oh my God. August 18th, guys. Be in tune. I mean, we're going to finally get to see what's going to happen. I'm sure a trailer is going to come up for that, by the way. Dude, and I'm having so much fun because my little brother is going back through. Or he's going through him, so I get to sit and a little bit kind of side watch nice. with him. And I'm, like, I'm about to get back on Daredevil and just go through both of them dude, seasons. Dude, yeah, again. he just did both seasons, so I got to peek Watch in on him. Just, boom. Mm-hmm. And then he's doing the second half of Luke Cage he didn't finish. I don't I don't know about Jessica Jones. I might. I have to go back and do it again just so I yeah, know her goddamn so story know. again. Reference. 
just so I remember, because I'm not gonna lie, I hated that one the most. A lot of people like it. And, and are that's we gonna get a Luke and Jessica? Like, what's gonna that happen? That would be interesting. I mean, they're already kind of together. I think that's just gonna be part of no, the no, dynamic. No, Claire. Yeah. It showed them like holding hands. And, like, oh yeah, and it, yeah, and he, he. But that might be Jordan Devin. Welcome. I'm sorry we joined us. We've seen him in a total of like two people series, and he's been with like three or four different chicks. That's true. I'm just saying. Luke Cage is Luke Cage man. is too much one of man for, you know, one woman apparently. <laughs> right. Show. He's just not to be sexy. Night. I'm just saying, like, he can't uh, himself, you know. Or maybe the other was the other many different ladies. Hey, Jordan. The purple man was awesome. That was the only good part about it, though, Izzy. That yes, couldn't... exactly. And he it took so long to really get to get the purple into him. Man. He was just kind of, like, popping up here and there. And then, and then went, he like, fully came in and then the he was last awesome couple of episodes it's like wow fast eight tomorrow i do, do remember that i'm not sure if i mean i'm probably not gonna go to the i think theaters. i'm gonna go ahead and check that out i'll um, check it out but i don't know if i'll go to the theaters for that one ah uh, come on come on with the theater, maybe man. i mean if we're gonna go to if we'll go together we'll go <laughs> yeah let's go man Shoot. it's like i have to go check with someone out. that's the other thing i don't like going to the movies by myself so i've done it so i many feel times. lonely yes. no no Come on through, man. We'll go. We'll go. I, I, uh, it's just, uh, tomorrow going, can't wait. The other thing is I'm a broke joke right now. Come on with. We'll, we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. I mean, I got to know for a ticket. I'm not that bad. I got a 20 But seconds. guys. So oh much. I was waiting for more comments, but so much coming out. Dude, still Thor thing is just like amazing. I know. And even DC's kind of keeping up a little bit with their animated universe. They're I mean, doing they great. have the Teen Titans Judas contract yeah, we were, out. Yeah, we were talking about it. It's very interesting. Like I said, you get to see that new kind of character set a little bit mixed in with the old. Yeah, exactly. You, you, like, get, you get a couple references to the old Teen Titans team. And then mostly, the I love the new ones. villain, but at the same time, underdone. Yeah, a little bit, man. Just under like, very Just cool little. at the end of it, but... And then the whole Deadshot thing in this one. That, okay, the the whole... Or not Deadshot, the... We uh, won't spoil slate. too much, maybe, but yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, he was no, slain. I, mean, like, yeah. I mean, it's the same thing, right? No, no, that's Deathstroke. Right? Deathstroke, Deathstroke yeah, is slate. slate. I get confused because he goes I by a ton he, of names. Was he slate? Yeah, he was slate in this one. Yeah, yeah he's Damon's slate in this one. Slate. Well, that's his name, is Slade Wilson. Mm-hmm. That's my problem is they just well, sometimes refer to it. Sometimes it goes it. by Deathstroke. And, and then, on yeah. Media. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I did confuse those two, but yeah. Y'all are so cute. Well, thanks, Susie. That theater service serves alcohol. Going alone is great. Wow. You know, now that I think about it, I could go to one of those ones where they serve a dinner. Maybe find a date. Boom, there you go. That's what, what I really tavern? need. That's what I really up, need to man. do with Leo is go find me a date. But uh, <laughs> I'm too lazy. Yeah, and double broke. date, man. I know, right? It's like, do, do, do you have a girlfriend right now? Mm. Do you? No, no, not since my last girlfriend. Been, been too broke. That's okay, man. <laughs> Focus on the work. I've been, uh, yep, been focusing on my true love, comic books. <laughs> awesome. True love. No. Thank you, by the way, again for the uh, birthday presents from that extra. Of geek course, box. man. I still actually have the box. That's great. I don't throw away boxes, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I collect them as well, the boxes. Oh, that's nice. You should do that. The little crates on that. you could, like, do, like, you can... I'm sure you could find a date, Susie. I'm sure I could, too. I'm just... Yeah. Lazy and reading. <laughs> right now, I'm just too busy. I mean, yeah, honestly, like, I mean, I spend half the day video editing, and then the other half of the day working. I'm, like, working, and then I'm writing, and then writing for work. Leo does a lot of work. Yeah. Josh Brawl and Cat... Yes! Josh Brawl and his cable. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, I was like, wow, Thanos? That was the real thing, but at least the thing is, if they're not going to cross over, he might as well be in both universes. Yeah, exactly. He, that's a great parallel. Like, it's like, oh, he's going to play a, a totally different hero character. And, like, uh, basically a totally... I mean, they're so different in a lot of levels. Very, very At the different. same time, very similar in the fact that they're these militant, militant. driven, mm-hmm. brutal... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what I want to see from Brawlin is this gritty cable gritty that comes cable, in and tries yeah, to mess up Deadpool and he realizes obviously he can't. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, like, I mean, you can, but to a point. Uh, conversation started 50 comments so far. All right. Hey, thank you. I'll be your date, Lola. Just have to travel. Hey, do you want to come by? I thought I thought you had a come boyfriend, through, but feel free to come through. <laughs> Hang out. You know, even if we don't go on a date, we'd love to chat. And uh, I mean, we are in Colorado, so yeah, everything's legal here. And that's like, <laughs> that's not true. Come hang out. We'll see. 
Uh, yeah, dude. So that happened, and then Dumbledore got cast. I did see that. I'm we're running. I will, man. That's who was that guy? <sighs> he was in a couple of things. I he can't... was, and his name is pretty popular. That I just don't. If remember. anybody knows, hey, hey Patty. Patty. Uh, if anybody knows the Dumbledore casting, I'm sure Susie or Sidney. Yes, know. like Dumbledore. I'm glad we got a young Dumbledore though. Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. King Arthur, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. King Arthur is going to look pretty good. Then, I don't know if it's going to be maybe up to par with some of the things that are coming out this year. We'll have to see. It might be one of those that's just like a sleeper pretty good one, like an 80, well, well, 83%. Yeah. And then we also have Transformers The Last Night. Which yeah. I like because it looks like it's going to be that kind of retro, like in the... I, I don't know, man, though. I, I don't know. My faith is just so low in Transformers. I don't know, man. At least a Jude Law. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You How guys think of the new Flash? My main is super awesome. I thought so. Yeah. Someone said they had a deal that they could use him with whispers of characters they could oh, use. Oh, I didn't even see that. Wow. Wow. What do you guys think of the new Flash? It's not kind of stuff. Uh, um, Rebirth? Oh, wait. Yeah, I didn't add anything else. Flash comics or Flash show? I assume show. Yeah, show, show, I'm not caught up. I, maybe one. I'll do that this week and I'll catch up on all of my DC shows. Gotta get caught up on the DC Except guys. Except for Arrow. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the ones we're kind of just struggling on. Yeah, you're yeah, not I gonna am, choke through Arrow, are you? I'm not. I'll get there eventually. I'll do it one episode at a time. Yeah, the exactly. thing is, I gotta go back and fully appreciate. So. I'll blow through all of the Flash. Basically, Flash. Flash and Supergirl are my mainstays and then I'll try to get through Legends of Tomorrow. But guys, there's so much I have to watch through. The I've movie. also been keeping up on anime. What, which which movie? The Flash. Oh, the new Flash in the movie. Interesting. Oh, yeah. He looks a lot like a Power Ranger. He does. But, but we have it, seen designs of the Flash costume like this. And it was like, but maybe it might be a little too much. What I will know, say we'll is, and I, this is weird to say about the Flash, I know, but he was a little scrawny. Yeah, he was Even pretty thin. Because Barry's Even pretty Barry bold, has been shown as athletic. Yeah, you know what I mean? Not, not strong or big, but and no offense he's to him, but he's lot. very, very lith. You know what I mean? I'm sure he's in great shape, but he's not. He's just not as, I don't know. His body type is not like Barry's was. Well, like and more it's, yeah. sto- a little more stocky. I like I said, a little, little, I don't know. I think he'll be good, though. I don't think that has anything. To, he played an interesting Barry. I don't know if he's going to get I'll the I'll see character. you next week, Asia. Awesome. The movie. Thanks the movie, for coming out. Because the movie. Okay, yes. Grant is... Grant is. Elaborate, Susie, about Grant is. They should have cast Barry. Barry. Eh. The thing is, and here's the thing is, I'm going to say about both of them, I'm sure they're both good Flashes. And we know that the Flash from uh, the Flash, uh, Barry. Who all the... Oh, him, Grant Gustin? Yeah. I mean... He's, he's not a... a good Barry Allen. Yeah, he's not. We've talked about it. They haven't done a really good Barry Allen. Barry Allen is a very like mercurial kind of light, light character, character, even like, in the face of certain doom. Like even in the face of certain doom, he was. He's not jokey enough. I don't know. He, he was like a this... very light, light version of Spider-Man. I'd say he wouldn't just exactly. throw out quips, but he was the first one to throw a joke in the serious situation. Mm-hmm. He would. He would. He's the one who's always trying to make Batman laugh. He's that. What's guy. up, Adam? Welcome back, man. Didn't you see the video? They should have cast Barry. Which video? The new video? Which which video? Did they have like an audition video or a mm. new a trailer we missed? Yeah, I don't know about that. Gotta go. I'm in a drag show. See you guys next week. Have a look. Asia. Like I said, I like him, and I I think he would have been a good cast for the movie too. Wentworth Miller would be a better Flash. Wentworth Miller. I'll look him. Mm. I'll look him up. Oh. We will we will comment on reference. that reference. And... Let's check this out. Wait, isn't that Captain Cold? Yeah. What? Am I wrong? Is that Captain Cold? That is, I think. If not, he looks a lot like Captain Cold. How about that? I, That's I'm... Captain Cold, isn't it? Snark, yeah, Snark. Snark. Okay, yeah. I don't know about that. Maybe. No, he's too serious. Well, if he, I haven't seen him try to act light. You know That's what I true. Mean? I don't know, man. I don't know if that would... The thing is, I don't think the physical appearance is like... Barry, Barry was always showing no offense to be a very stereotypical, like, just white male. Pale. 
Yep. Male, white, male. No offense, like I just. But no, how much the comics, and it's the same with Iron Fist, and I kind of made this reference that it was like, well, him and Luke Cage served as a good parallel to each other because they were like, you know, two different races coming together to fight crime. And even and above that, as... there was a lot of background, like Danny. Granted, Danny was raised in the shell, but he's this rich, rich white, white. oblivious character. Who's... He's he's a stereotypical rich white character. Whereas Luke Cage into... was. Not necessarily like a stereotypical black character, but was not rich, was per- persecuted Parallel. by the law, very yep. much very not much like Parallel. Danny. You know what I mean? Um, and it, and that's the best thing about it is like they're complete opposites of each other. But they were such good friends such because good at the friends. very core of their characters, they were about treating people well and, you know, making sure the streets Heck were yeah, safe man. and, you know, defending was... all the... Of... The towns. And, and to be fair, that's Luke the best Cage thing about badass. those comics, though, because they're like just street level crime. You know, it's like they're defending off like, you know, <laughs> which is of kung fu and stuff. Which is why it's like, cool that they're making cool. defenders the place where they're going to fight the hand. Exactly. Because the hand is a little higher than street level. You know what I mean? They're just a step up. Where they're like, all right, we have street level crime, like the yakuza and the yeah, gangs, like and then the you have the clan who kind of runs all the. At least in the in Marvel Comics universe, that's how that kind of runs. You know, the Yakuza and all of them kind of bow to them. Yeah, it's just kind they of always, like a step It's up. like Snark. Yes, yeah, he would. When is your next blog, Leo? Should be tomorrow, Susie. I'm going to publish tomorrow. People complain Flash is too light. If he was funny, joke around Flash should be too kid-friendly for me. But then you just make the storylines darker. Yeah, exactly. Because then, like, people actually die. Like, in, they do in the Flash comics. Despite being such a light character, the Flash often has people die has multiverse changing events. He's one of the characters who died for the longest in his continuity of like 20 Barry years. Allen, yeah, yeah he Barry died for Allen's so long. held the record for a long time. Uh, I think Captain Marvel has since passed him, but for a long time. But I he, Barry, I mean, 28, oh, Captain that's Marvel. That's a long time. That's sad. I can see what you're saying, Cy, but the thing is, the Flash, it's it's a, it's a whole thing. Like, there, there's, the Flash is good, but I always felt Barry Allen wasn't, necessarily Barry Allen even it's so weird I feel like a good it's so are you funny. talking about Grant Gustin who wait what yeah that I just in, in any of their depictions, the depictions of the flash here or there even their how they've been showing Ezra as or what it's ever his name is as the flash is a very jittery kind of mo- like offish flash you know what I mean he's like yeah, a little he's weird kind of weird yeah which the flash of, uh, was I guess weird but not like that the flash was like a happy go lucky, yeah, yeah like, like weirdish, like I don't like know. He's just too happy. Here's the thing, like I said, the Flash was very much like kind of a lighter version of Spider Man. You know, he was very. Can we touch a bit on The Walking Dead? Oh God, I'm not caught up, guys. I'm not. I couldn't get through the first half of that season to get back to the action Uh-oh. of them fighting. Was so it pretty bad or slow or I just, something? It just was like. Well, I, it's the whole waiting a week thing sucks for me too. Like I forget and then I get busy with stuff. I like to binge those series. They're just blo- yeah. Go the problem is I should them. probably watch them as the weekly thing because that's how they're intended to be watched. Is like these serious drawn out dramas. They're definitely trying that trait they're with def- Wally West though. He seems to try too hard though. Yeah, yeah I agree. The other thing I don't know the they made him such a serious character on the intro of that Wally West. The other Wally West was a serious at times because I. No, it was Speedy who had the drug problem, right? Yeah, Speedy was really but, bad at times. Yeah, but no, Wally did Wally have... was pretty lighthearted Because he was first. an orphan at... Or was he just, like, his, a single Adopted, mother Adopted, I thought, or something, something like, like that. that. Like, he, he definitely... But he wasn't as serious as in this decent. one, where his mother is dying and his father has never seen like... It hey, was Jose not Ramos. Thanks for catching the stream, Jose. Uh... But I can see what you're saying. Like, you don't want it to be too light, but because it wants to be serious and dramatic, and that's superhero stuff. But in order to do that, you have to have real consequences and real effects. Exactly. You have and to have things with... that are going to domino. And, and let's not lie, lie that comic worse. books, even in essence, comic books have the same problem. They bring things back get characters. Dark and, but they bring back characters. They do. They... Wolverine's eventually probably going to be revived. Oh, I guarantee it. Has it happened yet? I guarantee he's, he's coming not back. Who popped not up in X Men Blue? No, go we check knew he it out. By the way, if you awesome, haven't. such Great. awesome. X Men Gold even wasn't bad. Apparently, there are religious messages, so watch out for those if you're subtly influenced by things. 
But all I saw was the, that they had political messages like they have since the beginning of X-Men. But it's just like, I mean, it's just a comic guy. The other know? thing is, it's isn't just... that the editor's job to fucking weed out? Yeah, and they and they just got bashed on that. So, question, what is the future of Green Arrow? I don't know. I mean, I haven't caught up. It just my seems like is... it might be dragging to me. I My thing is, you got to pick a stopping point or else you end up dragging too long, like episodes like Scrubs, etc., etc., a few drama... Once you get too long, Ooh. you start messing up. Like you'll still have a little bit of your spark there, but it's never going to be comparable to your to the early, first early. And you seasons. should make yourself a very, unless you're just going for money, you should make yourself a self-contained thing. What do you guys think of Chris Evans not wanting to play? Well, actually, he said he's open to the idea, but Marvel might not be. Open oh, I love Logan. Going back, Logan was amazing. Uh, I think that he, he I, like I said, I heard he was open to the idea of going back. But if he doesn't, here's the thing: how many more Captain Americas do we ask of him? How many more movies do we, we ask? How go, many more storylines do we have, we have that to we go really a different want to see? direction? We right, have we, to go into other characters. Captain just plan Marvel. for the future. Black Panther. Black Panther. Um, Boom. Um, a little bit more Spider Man. More Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. I'd love to see. Uh, they who else do they have? They have all these different side things coming up too, with the Power Pack and the new X Men stuff and Deadpool, yep, Deadpool and, and X Force and, and everything's hate, blowing up. Yeah, there's so much. Just went up thirty dollars because yeah, laugh my ass if they it, it appreciated in price because of that. That's funny. Wait, what? Uh, X Men Gold number one went up thirty dollars because of the hidden messages because they're trying to pull oh, all the stocks wow. and stuff. So it's harder to find. Yeah. They they he immediately made that a classic. I guarantee you, if that guy held on to ten copies of that in twenty years, he'll be fucking set for life. That artist, Jeez, artist, dude. if you're out there, buy a couple of your own fucking copies, dumbass. <laughs> Yo, just man, saying. chill out. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, bro. I'm just saying. He went he went the whole wrong direction. He did it and then he apologized for it and said he was screwed. You never do that. That's just dumb. Cap AM is over. Cap America. Probably. Oh, yeah. I Hydra, think they're going mean... to take a different direction with Captain America. I want to get there, Sai. I'll get there eventually. Yeah, Legends of Tomorrow is just hard to swallow. Here's the thing of the hiding of the messages. Like, I saw it even in my first run through. Eh. Political tones. Political shit. Who cares? I'm, I, I'm done paying attention to it. Move on to the new artist. Sorry, stuff happens. That's the thing. And I hate to say it, but you do have to think about society when you put your stuff out. If you don't believe, or when you, even when you implement stuff that is legal or even if it's not moral, because United's did that same shit and lost $800 million in stocks. Whether or not they were right to pull them off like that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You lost money. You lost money. Probably would have been better to shell out a couple hundred thousand dollars and have somebody else hop off. Right? Exactly. That was terrible. Legends of, oops, sorry. It's all good. Captain America, I just don't want... I don't know about this Hydra timeline. I'm like, yeah, geez, can we get off of this? Exactly. I feel the same, side. Like We've Cap seen him back. in three movies. Like I like Cap. Don't get me wrong. I love Cap. But we either format him in a different style, you know, send him to a TV show or to a miniseries on Netflix or something, and spin him off. That's the then... only way you could do it. Otherwise, what are we going to do? We're going to do another three cat movies? Going to have the nine cat movies? Going to have how many? Like, let's, Wendy's let's, just stop. Let's stop him. I mean, stop like, while we're stop him good. after Infinity Wars. Yep. And, and part two. Because there is an And here's the thing. That's not two. to say he can't show up in cameos. That's not to say exactly. he couldn't show up later. But, like, why center more stories around Cap when there's a dozen other characters who deserve their own movies? Easily that many. Easily. I from, mean, it's like, Marvel come on, NBC. you could have so many. What's up, Alan? Legends of Tomorrow man. is done. Okay, so at least it's a contained thing then. Hmm. I can go watch it all. I think they will move on the new characters. Yeah, I think so too. And that's that's a better direction for Remember Marvel. wine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for, definitely. Uh, don't forget to another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doctor Strange. Oh, uh, God. I, that's, and so we were talking about it. There's a scene... In the Thor trailer. Clip in the Thor trailer. And I saw someone do a slow cut of it, so you'll have to do your own cut and see. But when Thor gets blown back from the destruction of Mjolnir, it looks like there's someone next to him being blown away. A small figure is, like, right next to him. Like, it's just, like, a small silhouette that kind of backs up. And it's like, is that and then strange? Gets, yep. It's like, and so so, strange? And someone else might have seen that gift too, or seen it, but it could be strange. Some people think it's Loki. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think Loki's either in Asgard or wherever the hell he's at. Yeah, I mean, um, well, he said he was on Earth chasing Loki, but 
Loki's been on Asgard. Asgard. He tricked the heck out of him. Oh yeah, he did a he pulled a whole. Yeah, cause that was, was the greatest part back. of Thor too. Was that reveal at the end with Loki? I'm sorry, that's been out now. How yeah, long? Yeah, very long. Spoilers, but the I end mean, is the, the second shows, Thor Dark World. Um, it shows Loki is actually in Asgard on the throne. Yep, I think um, it even disguises Odin. Yep, he's been disguised. But it, he's has Thor tricked into thinking he's on Earth, right? Or even just out hiding somewhere. Or hiding. Uh, they'll try to keep RDJ as long as he can. At his age, he might just stay it out. Could be a billionaire by the time he's he just going to keep popping up in cameos. I and think. the Marvel reboot the whole universe. Evans isn't going to stay young forever, like Cap does. That's true, Kevin. I mean. Eventually it will. I mean, the MCU. The thing is, I it won't though. The MCU, as long as it makes them money, they'll keep with it. So when it stops making the money, yes, it'll die. Till then, they'll just keep fighting because they'll replace an actor like pumping nothing. up. Yeah, they'll keep. I'm pumping sorry, they, out. they 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 and I love Cap, but they will. They'll bring in a new Captain America, not the same Captain America. It'll be uh, the Falcons Captain Sam America Wilson or, or yeah, something or Bucky's or Captain Bucky. America or there's a million other Captain Americas that just ended up US agents you've got the original yeah there's so super many soldier John yeah, Steele Scott John Steele who yeah, is a well, way bigger yeah, badass I don't know if they would make it well ooh, that would be tight if they made it to him they talk about it John Steele uh, cannon fire used to bounce off him as long as they don't pull an Assassin's Creed and try to make a new character in the same universe let's not do that no more please I'm just saying as a complete and total fan of comedy Comics, they're done. Oh. I see. see Susie is not happy with Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, dang. It's like, to each their own, we'll check and give our opinions, but... I feel yeah. like DC will reboot a lot quicker than Marvel will. Well, Rebirth came out before the Marvel... Well, hmm. Did it? I don't think it did. No, Marvel I, came out... Yeah, when... it came out first. Secret Wars. Wars. Even yeah. before that, Secret Even Wars Secret beats Wars Rebirth. Beats. Yeah. Because it's, what, so 2000... It. Six, but even before that, Secret Wars was like the was a whole run after the destruction of the universe, yep. and that was so the rebirth. That was a... And Secret Wars ran for like eight, eight issues, issues, which is like eight months. And they just rebooted everything. And we're on like Dang. we're on like twenty something now. Oh, well, Flashpoint. That's true, but. If you go by that, we have Infinite Crisis, and even before that, there's universe, like, what, how big are we talking, though? Because the Marvel Universe That's true. is it's... way bigger than Flashpoint 1. Secret Wars was the first. First huge Because the new 52, yes, but that was a destruction down to 52. Let's see. Steven Spielberg said superhero movies will die like Yeah, Wild it took West them a year movie. after Secret Wars. Why Jeez. did you think? You see the Steven Spielberg comment? Uh, I don't know about the movie universe for DC. I think DC is just getting started in their universe. My problem is if they're just going to keep focusing on Batman again, I think you're right. They're going to die, die after out. 2017. Squeeze on out. It's like we need more than just Batman titles. We need different heroes introduced. Different styles of heroes. You know why it's so bad? Batman has ever... been depicted way and more And here's the thing. I hate it, people. but Nightwing, Batgirl, and freaking, uh, what was the third one they got? Then Gotham they City a, Sirens or Gotham whatever? City Sirens are going to be almost the exact same movies. I'm sorry. There's going to be slight variations, but they're the same kind of hero. And they're on. Yeah. And, and the reason Marvel does so well is their heroes are at least sometimes a little different. Cap, not as strong as, let's say, Doctor Strange and the stuff he does with Thor doing a whole different thing. But Cap is still a powerful character. But even like Ant Man's and... dealing with a slightly different threat. Yeah, Spider Man, slightly. Spider Man. And, and slightly different threat. powers. Mm -hmm. Powers, I hate Most to say definitely. it, Batman's awesome because no powers and he's a badass, but that's the same reason Nightwing's ba badass and the same reason Batgirl's and Batman Woman is badass. Yo, oh, awesome. Thanks, Susie. What about that new Transformers? We'll see. But yeah, it took them a year after Secret Wars. Uh, I knew yeah, it. new Transformers. Eh. But did you see the Steven Spielberg comment? I think, I don't think they're going to really die out, to be honest. Superhero movies have been around for a long time. It's just the fan base. I mean, and now like, the thing is, now we're able to depict them so well. I don't think yeah. they'll ever die. Before they were, they, they were, they were, they were in between because Blakey. you could only use such acting and such effects. But I think if they just keep on resetting after a certain amount, you know, go for different heroes, grow different other times. Like I said, uh, eventually you'll you won't even care about. It. It's like, oh man, I want to see more Cap. But man, these Black Panther movies are fucking awesome. Exactly. Like I can't wait, man. What do you guys think they're going after Avengers: Infinity Wars? I think Doctor Strange showed a hint of who might be the next big bad. They need to expand the Marvel cosmic world into some more silver screen adaptions. That's true. 
But I think that's where they're going with Infinity Wars and Guardians, and even this new Thor movie is kind of be a little now bit if more you cosmic, mean now yeah. if you mean on the level of cosmic entities. That's a little too high level, I think. When we get talking about the Celestials and and I Eternity, mean, that's just into some that's, crazy because that's like an end universe end kind of like that would be the end because then you have nowhere else to go. You know what I mean? And that was the whole problem Ooh, yeah. they keep hitting with some of these is like, oh, we hit the roof and then we don't have anywhere to go because we didn't pace ourselves. Ant Man isn't a great hero for me. I'm surprised that movie done well. I really like Ant Man. I feel like they all they always this version of Ant Man in the movies was Where done. Oh, that was sorry. He's right. Up. I think it was sorry. Uh, what else? Where do you guys think the end? Yeah, they need to expand the Marvel. Yeah, it's in between the Kevin Mask and the. Oh, huh, weird. But I don't. Yeah, no. I think that that the uh, the idea of Ant Man is sometimes like overlooked. But then people always don't really know the full potential of Ant Man. Like, he could honestly do some really good work. People and talk some, about it. Ant Man's Marvel... able to like disable the whole some of the animated universes he's doing some crazy stuff oh. like he is just like well, he said forget. disabling the hulk like he's taking down some crazy enemies like he he's often depicted as trying to counter reed richards when they're not at not seeing eye to eye exactly like he's they talk about he's one of the smartest men in the entire marvel universe he's ranked like seven or eight um oh Craig is keeping you live. I'm going to music. Ah, oh, thank you. Right on. Awesome, Thanks Craig. for staying in, Craig. We appreciate you so much. Go Thanks, love your Susie. music, Susie. Bring Nova to the movies as well, I'm saying. Oh, I could see that. You're just going to have to introduce him through the Nova Corps. Ooh, Nova would be awesome. But, the, like, that yes, would be a cool please. thing to see, like, a, after Infinity Wars. Like, a Nova helmet. Like, all the Novas die in Infinity Wars. Or some Nova die, and then psh, Nova helmet crashes to Earth. And... Richard Ryder Ryan shows up. up. Yeah, even the oh, new Nova, yes. Sam. Uh, Sam. What's the new Nova's last name? Sam. Beats me, man. I can't remember. I haven't been caught up on that one. It's pretty Ant-Man cool. Man was going to be the first in the MCU, but they had much problems with the making of the movie. Oh wow. I I enjoyed it too. I would see that because the effects for Ant Man are very specific. Yeah. Uh, and would have needed time. Mm -hmm. No problem, guys. Hey, thank you so much, Greg. Alexander. Oh, Al uh, that's his last name, S Sam Alexander. Sam yes, Alexander. thank you, okay. Kevin. There we go. Thank you so much. Yep, and that was a cool thing for people who haven't caught up on that comic. I just caught up on that. There's a whole thing of Richard Ryder coming back and having to leave in the world mind and all kinds of cool stuff. Jeez. All kinds of awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Tonight's been a pretty good cast. Uh, What else do we got on the run? Oh, man, those Dave Chappelle specials. Oh, yes, the Dave Chappelle. Have you guys seen the Dave Chappelle Netflix specials? The new ones. They're so amazing. Oh, amazing. my goodness. I, I just love those new specials because they're just what we needed. The, the Dave Chappelle we've been missing, you know what I mean? It's like, geez. Ah, uh, we haven't had him in years. What, like 10 years, 12 years? 12 Jeez. years, something like that. I mean, it was just like the Chappelle show and then a couple more shows and he was done. Yeah. But did you see that he got like, he actually got booed off stage? In and one, yeah. He yeah. talked about it. He's, I he mean, did. he talked, and he even talked about why. And he talked about why. Yep. You know, don't get too high before you do things, kids. <laughs> don't like, do Don't it. do drugs. Don't do it, guys. Oh, uh, it's, it's pretty hilarious, though. They, he did a good job. Both of the specials are pretty good. Just uh, don't was... watch that Amy Schumer shit. Oh, God, man. I just can't. I don't really enjoy her. Nah, me neither. I don't enjoy a lot of... There's definitely new comics I do, but some of the new comics that people are like, oh, I love that person. Like, Amy Schumer? I'm good. Yeah. She's got a couple specials. The thing is, Amy Schumer is like runs along that classic Liza Lampanelli joke line, I feel like, with like very slight changes. Very slight, slight changes. With like some Not updated original. references. Updated references, that's about it. Uh, besides that, you know, we've got some new uh, anime stuff, the new My Hero Academia stuff I saw, which was awesome. Yeah, My Caught Hero all that. Academia is going to be awesome, man. Oh, they've got three out. The tournament is going on. Mm -hmm. They've got a tournament going. And... Yep, super cool. Uh, check it out. I think the new episode came out either t today or tomorrow, maybe even yesterday. I can't yeah, remember. Uh, what it's day. coming out tomorrow. What's up, Tyler? Good to see you, man. We also have the Attack on Titan stuff and uh, Samurai Jack. Oh, Samurai Jack. Dude, that one's pretty interesting that where one's, that one's oh, at now. Oh, man. Samurai you Jack is just getting... Oh, 
crazy right oh, now. I God. didn't expect it to get this dark. Dude, I knew it would, but especially after the first, the one episode where it shows, you know, him. Hey, Tyler, thanks for popping in, man. For sure. Have a good night, brother. Yep, thank you for popping in. Hey, Let's message your meet up share. so I can get you your prize. Thank Definitely. you. She steals most of her material. I've heard that as well, Kevin. Uh, I feel like she gets attacked more shit than she deserves. She probably does. Most people do who are famous get attacked more than they deserve. But you're also famous. You kind of stepped into the light. They're going to take shots at you. It's unfortunate side effects. It's like the internet. People use the internet so they can mock people with no consequence. That's what they like to do. I try not to do that, but people do it. What well, about the Justice League movie coming out? We're very excited for that, Craig. Like We've talked about the trailer being very awesome. Very excited. It looks We've talked good. about how it looks like they're Did taking... Did you guys see the new poster, by the way? Ooh, I mean, yeah, it shows it the facing the side. Oh, man. Oh, that's that so cool. Awesome. Side shot. But we talked about how Batman it has looks in all the, the center, great man. Stuff. Like I said, I don't see Soup's coming in for this one. I think he's gonna pop up in maybe like at the one end, little in part. Like, yeah. oh, he's back for the next movie because there's something. Because now Dark Side's here, or something. Maybe it leads to that. Who knows? Maybe he has a black suit on. That'll be dope. I mean, I think that's what they're gonna lead to. Like, that's got to be the classic homage, right? Yeah, exactly. He comes back in the dark suit. He's not as strong. He has to wear the black to get more sun rays absorbed. He's... Yep. There was a whole. There's a whole run on it. It's great. It's After one of the credits, best Superman maybe. Runs. I that don't know about after credits, but I think he might pop up like at the. Very, I think maybe very they'll end. show some like subtle thing on the side. Maybe it's like a, a news report that you're not paying attention to. It's like, did you hear the grave blah 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 got dug up in Central Park or something? Yeah, you know, yeah, like, and then maybe he pops up in a post credits or like, like, like just like crack crack. Uh, but it would. It's definitely interesting. And uh, I like I said, we talked about how the Justice League trailers have been really good at not revealing too much of the plot. Showing everything we wanted to see, and they took a lot of great hints. It looks like from Marvel, which is what we really Couple wanted. Little was for, comedy hits, right? You know? And you don't have to have the whole movie be funny to have some comedy in there. Exactly. You know what I mean? Aquaman on the Batmobile. I Heck mean, that's yeah. even just awesome. I mean, the uh, like I said, as much as I wasn't a fan of the depiction of Barry Allen, the joke of you know, it's like I need friends. It's like right. Yeah, it's funny. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna not laugh at that because he's not the exact depiction I don't want that I want. Guys, got we got to remember to keep an open mind. You know these aren't going to be exact on the comics. It, it, it's a different universe. Now, if they promise you that, that's different. You know what I mean. But they've never promised that at all. They haven't. It's a new universe for these people. Like the DCEU was a different universe, just mm -hmm. like the MCU is different from it's Marvel. Definitely so so different. From Marvel Six. Like I said, and they have to be because they're such different levels and such different needs. You know what I mean. In the comics, the need to change level up and down is happens all the time. Exactly. The movies need to stay more consistent, stay longer drawn out, need to stay like one shot amazingness. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so they do that. They set it up for that. Uh, that's why I said I think they did a really good job setting up Avengers Infinity War with Civil War. Yes. Uh, th that Thor is probably going to lead well into that as well as maybe even Spider-Man. That's the other thing we don't think about is that we're seeing both Spider-Man and, and Tony, Tony who are supposed, who are to, show supposed to show up yeah. in so, Infinity War. Yep, yeah, which is going to be one of the next films besides guardians and thor like that's the other thing we don't think about we have these three connected movies launching and directly guardians are going to be in avengers infinity war it, that's what i'm saying it's we have all three of them all of this yeah all three of these films coming out in the next six months or seven months because it's what the november so we do have to wait till 11th for that one but the other two are within six months of now or f even four right yeah what are you even. talking of the, the spider-man and uh no guardians, guardians is in one, one month, month of each other yeah, that May, no, well, yeah. May and July, so that's two months. When, and then May is only and then barely July, May, yeah. November, because what Thor? Yep. And yep. so, like I said, we got but seven in months. between. We also have, you know, things to hold us up as well. Defenders. Right. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great because he's crazy fast. <laughs> crazy. I like how they're doing the lightning though, and I hope they do some that quick silver esque awesome. scenes. I want them to take all the best Slow parts. it down. Yeah, yep, just that do a Matrix style. Oh, you only need one in every movie, and it's awesome. I'm and sure it costs so much. One little, one little piece. Like I said, you could even do tiny little ones. That would be even better. You know what I mean? That a was little... like perfect. That like saved that last movie for me. Apocalypse was a It wasn't a good movie. movie. But like, like, it wasn't a great movie. It really it wasn't, total. but that scene was That scene was awesome. The perfect. opening scene was really cool. I liked it. That was like they should have done more powers in that. Like people want to see that, and that's what they come for. Exactly, man. Need to show more powers. Just running around, 
discovering each other. Like, I was like, is this a teenage <laughs> movie or what? I love you. Jean Green. Oh, get out of here. I'm sorry. I've seen it. The Wolverine scene was the best part. Absolutely. <sighs> just bust through and just... You guys no haven't seen can, it. No one can act scream like <laughs> Hugh Jackman, man. Just, yeah, he just <laughs> is crazy. You He's, saw the scene. You know, the yeah, the, the ADR. He's like yelling. <laughs> <He's just> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I felt that much. I felt that way a little bit yesterday doing the music video shoot. Nice. Where it's just like... All right, I gotta be in this mood. And yeah, like act out this you gotta scene. act it out, man. Like, yeah. What's your guy's LCS? LCS? Hmm? I'm disappointed they kind of ruined X Men. Did you not like X Men Blue? Or are you talking about. Uh, I think he might be talking about the movies. movies yeah. Kasai is the movie. Uh, yeah. The movie watcher. I have y'all on my stereo. Oh, oh shoot. Snap. Welcome back, Susie. Welcome back. Oh man, that 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 justice movie though. Thanks for that comment. Uh, LCS location, local. Lo what do you mean, Kevin? <laughs> yes, please, please, please elaborate. Specify. Yeah. Uh, what else do we got coming? Oh, guys, this isn't necessarily anything to do with comics or anything, but, but technically, it's animation. Technically it's like is, it is. Gorillas, gorillas got an anime. Coming anime out. coming out like a 10 like episodes like a 10, yeah. yeah it's 10 episodes oh, and it's gonna so awesome. explain it all in like kind of a music too like yeah it's gonna, gonna be awesome the and music. they got a new album coming out he said yeah i'm not a comic reader unfortunately it's okay it's all right it's all right hopefully you'll you win pick one up? tonight you can pick up anywhere literally anywhere. local comic shop come on guys get with the abbreviations uh mine's is <laughs> mile high comics so. um i have mile high comics and i also got all c's um, you go all over the place yeah, though. Yeah, I like all season Mile High comics. I also hit cons places. as where I yeah. get a lot of my collection because that's the best place to yep. pick up comics. Oh, especially on Sundays, guys. Ooh. People are moving stuff. Yep, they're like, we don't want to take this back. Let's make a DC versus Marvel movie. Your thoughts? I want it, but the problem is we're net and we can't even get the comics together right now. Let alone like, the movie rights. It's like rights. PS4 trying to agree with my Xbox comics. To cross yeah, games. let's discuss Batman. But what is there to discuss about Batman right now? Like. There's not... We know it's coming out, but what are we going to wait and see? Like, all right, we've seen so many Batmans that they're going to have to do something no original. Trailers. No more parents dying stories. I've seen it. They did it in the Batman vs. Superman trailer. I understand. That's I know the character. Away. No trailers, man. Like, no trailers yet, for sure. But I just I don't know right now, Susie, because, like, there's nothing to talk about except for the fact that they're all getting movies and that Josh Whedon's doing Batgirl. Yes, Mile High Comics. Yep. Ooh, Josh Whedon doing Batgirl. Batgirl, though, that kind of lightens things up a little bit. Because think about Nightwing Age of again? Ultra. They had another good director doing Nightwing, didn't they? Or did they just that say? I can't remember. Maybe they didn't say the director. Maybe I'm maybe I'm forgetting things. A lot. Ah, I just... Like, I love Batman, but... Like you said, I need new stuff. I Even the last Batman arc, the I Am Bane arc, fell flat, like, at the end. Like, it was so cool, too, dude. It was shaping up to be one of the best freaking arcs I'd ever seen in Batman. And then they ended it like dropped. Crap. Dropped it like nothing. Yeah, like the right. I am they, Bane arc. I read uh, the last few. Yeah, it's it's so ridiculous, dude. Batman versus Batgirl. Bruce, I mean, sorry. Yeah, he always she's... dominates the Bat family. I mean, he's... There's the... very few. Like, there's a couple new characters in the series that can fuck with him, but... But, like, people like Nightwing and Batgirl, protégés. Yeah, they usually gonna... don't beat him. Nah. They're depicted as he's having taught them and knows their weaknesses and is analyzed to do so. Mm -hmm. And Especially depicted when uh, um, Dick tries to fight him in the animated universe mm -hmm. in that scene where he's under control. Yep. By Talia? Yeah, yeah, yeah Talia that's, I think so. Yeah. That was a real yeah, harsh one. Like, jeez, he just messed him up. Shoot, even some of the... Uh, you should see it's the uh, I can't remember if it's the VR game or the other one but it's one of the new Batman Arkham ones and it shows and it's like who killed Nightwing oh shit it was me <laughs> it's like I killed Nightwing and it's like literally they fight and they fight it's like oh it looked like he thought he was a friend and then he then he tried to fight but then he was outclassed and then he tried to escape and they predicted his escape and that would be how Batman dealt like you couldn't even run from Batman as a that child's like, all right, I'm going to tether. Well, I know you're going to tether away. Yeah, exactly. He would just know. Y'all know it's coming. I mean, 
but we know who's going to win. I mean, she'll get Batman. some nice shots in, and there will be a, some contention, but at the end of the day, Batman's going to have to win for bat favoritism. Well, if this is Barbara Gordon, or... Yeah, Barbara Gordon, right? Yeah, that's what uh, I was saying. It's like... She's going to be his protege at Just, thought. Like, know, I mean, I mean yeah. that's generally they how They still goes. fight, though. I mean, that's how it is. They fight, but... They always fight. There's always... They find some reason he, for the Bat for the family, bat to, family fight. to fight. Over each other. Always. It's usually oh, Batman. man, dude. Jason Todd versus Dick Grayson, though. Mm. Man, in the Battle for the Cal arc. Yeah, that was an interesting one. But even still, man, like... Ugh. He topped him pretty well, man. I was like, ooh, old Dick deserves a Batman... I mean, he's always been shown as one of the only ones who could really be Batman after But Batman. when he had finally got to Batman, though, he felt like it wasn't right. He was like, mm. Well, that's because he knew Batman was a lot. Yeah, he was like, yeah. I did want to see what Joseph Gordon-Levitt could have done with Robin. He's not a half-bad actor. I thought that was an interesting set, too, but I also yeah. felt like it was a little too old for the Batman we were looking for. Or Robin, yeah, he needed just... to be Nightwing at that point. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Dick is only... Old Dick, guy, once like... Dick becomes an adult, he... It's like I'm done. Well, in Judah's contract, he's he's referenced as twenty to twenty one or something like that. Side so well, your Australia commentary. <laughs> well, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> he's not a half bad actor. Um, I think that's an awful word. <laughs> not half bad. No, he's not. Not half. I mean, your thoughts on Suicide Squad? I haven't Mediocre-ish. even got enough. I haven't even had enough time to watch it the second time. It was just like, yeah, like yeah, I got the ultimate, or excuse me, the, um, the extended edition or whatever. It, there was some a couple of scenes that are like okay, matches things up a little bit more, but here's my overall, problem is what I thought no. would be the biggest issue. They're bringing in so many characters with no intro stories, basically. Not absolutely. As opposed insane. to the Avengers, who had how many freaking movies? They had two or three Iron Mans or something, and then you had a a Captain Cap, America, a, a Thor, Thor, a Hulk. Yeah, technically um, a Hulk. Yep. Um, and I think that was it. But still, that was like five movies to set up for the combo movie. Yeah. And I feel, Suicide are we Squad. One more. Oh, no, sure we I are. Think we, I think that was all of them. And then, yeah, Avengers. Oh, that. thoughts on Suicide Squad 2? Hope they be better. Yeah, I really hope that things improve. I mean, and let's even, get... I wish, I wish there was a little bit of backstory on some of these characters, like especially like Harley Quinn. Like, I wish the Gotham City Sirens thing would come out before Suicide Squad 2, because then it would like have a little bit of Harley Quinn focus in it. Mm -hmm. Like, it would be like, we could touch a little <laughs> bit on, you know... Harley Quinn's backstory and stuff. Like, yep, the Punisher. What's up, we Andrew? Were gonna, the Punisher? We were going to hit that next, Susie. Terrence, what's they up? just wrapped shooting. Just wrapped shooting for the Punisher. So that and means it, it we're showed probably a picture of him in the top. You know that means he's probably coming before Defenders. The skull. I know. But you know that Ooh, means he's probably coming out before Defenders. July. Or no, after, because Defenders wrapped shooting a while ago, right? Or did they even wrap no, shooting? No, I think, I wrapped, think right? it just announced like the other day and then Punisher was m before. Might be. Punisher, I can't wait. Me either, Terrence. I mean, it is shaping up to be the one Punisher that we have always Punisher wanted. that we needed. I mean, know? I was just watching, like I said, Daredevil 2 again, and I, I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Check this out. This is so frank. It's like, what do you mean? It's like, he looks like he's not doing anything right. He's going to shoot him. What's up, Andrew? All that nice Frank Castle shit. After. Okay, Defenders wrapped last week. Okay. So they wrapped around the same time then. Hmm. The real question is which one they want. Sorry, Sai. I'm from Dublin, Ireland. Oh! Woo! Yep. Andrew and Vachon. What's up, gentlemen. Andrew? Let's see. We got left. Ah, yes. I got a little bit of gaming news, guys, for people who do games. Yeah, let's hear um, it. Not, nothing super serious. I mean, there were some releases and sales this week. Uh, I think they're probably done now. I think the... There's a Lord, Lord of the Rings sale. They have a bunch of games on Daredevil sale. Daredevil season three is shooting. Yes, now? yes it is. Uh, and Jessica Jones season two. Season two. Yep. We Hopefully. also know Luke Cage. We also know is Avengers: coming. Infinity War is shooting. Yeah, it is. Um, January. So for current games, some update stuff. Overwatch just got a new Easter event that's going to be going on today. Right. Nope. Uh, it's called Omnic Uprising. Uh, just check it out. It's actually pretty fucking difficult. I heard. <laughs> like, hard is pretty really hard to get people hard. if you don't have people with you. And it goes all the way up two more levels past that. Um, League of Legends 
number one game in the world, whether you like it or not. That's just the numbers. They have a new duo set of champions coming out. Oh, nice! Which man. Is, they're like, they're not sold the together. Champions? They're called Rakan and Z Zami or Zami. Let me see. I think I even have an update on here. Zaya and Rakan. Yep. Wild magic. They're basically like bird people, but they're like, it's weird because it's not like Heroes of the Storm's character Cho'Gal, who is like a two-player character that must be played with two characters as one person kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's two characters that can be played together and have like certain symmetries, but it can also be bought and played separately. So it's an interesting Hey, new... Josh, thanks for stopping yep. by. Might grab Overwatch half price. Yeah, yeah it's, it is it's, half. it's a lot, yeah, but if you get it half off, it's probably worth it. It's a pretty decent game. And they it's do great, do a lot I'm of new terrible stuff. at it. Yeah, Andrew, May same. same. I, I could only get to, like, silver ranking or something. I can't even get that high. I'm, I, I was suck. with somebody. I'm And I do gaming for a thing, guys, so it's tough. Trust me. They filmed at the same time. That's cool. Can't tune in. Just stopping by to say hi. That's okay, Josh. Thanks for stopping by. What's up, We Kamal? appreciate that so much. But, yeah, side, so check it out if you want. You can even add, uh, I don't know if you play on Xbox or PC. Either way, you can either add, I think Leo does uh p not pc but ps4 ps4 and i do pc and will be doing xbox later or i have another one of my squad who does overwatch on the piece or xbox so you know hit us up my dude come on hey what's up man i still play world of warcraft i can't justify monthly pay games if i don't pay for it once i can't do it What's up, Aisha? Good to see but you. I, I respect you, Susie. I play Guild Wars 2 and Torchlight Ooh, and, Guild Wars 2 and Diablo. Just, Guild Wars 1 lost me, man. Dude, Guild Wars 2 is actually a lot better than Guild Wars 1. I tried it out for but a second. But it's still a collector's game. It's, 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 it's free. <laughs> yeah, very true. Very that's, true. That's the thing I'll say. <laughs> like, if yeah, you want a better version of that, you go to like Diablo or well, that's not the exact same. Though you go to like WoW if you, you want a higher. You've effectively of that. turned me into an Attack on Titan fan. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's over yes. for me. Yes, Attack on Titan's awesome. I just started my brother on that too. I've been starting him on everything. I, I used, used to play WoW, but it's became a bummer yeah. You have to have friends, friends to play. Yeah, with. for real. And you have to grind on that game a lot. Star, Star Wars, Wars Battlefront Battle Two. Yes, Kevin, that is also a much better version of Guild Wars Two. Basically. Hey, Aisha. Thank you for showing up, Diablo. Yo, yes, thanks Susie. for the love. All right, do you play StarCraft? Then do you play all the Blizzard games? Then Susie, you should come check out my streams. Dude. I do. Oh my goodness. I do a ton of Blizzard and StarCraft and Diablo, Overwatch. We were doing Heroes of the Storm, but I suck. And oh, I don't do well because I won't yeah, pay for it. I just it. suck at a lot of those games. But you guys think I'm of the Cyborg movie coming out? I don't know about a Cyborg movie yet. I think it would be cool. I'm not happy about the CGI right now on Cyborg. I think it's too much. Uh, I, I think it's too much, but it's a nice touch. Of I mean, course. it's cool, but I think it's just a little much. It's kind of like the, the thing of Wolverine. It's like when he's always CGI or there's always CGI going on. It's like, oh, man. I want to see it work, though. I want to yeah, see it exactly. work, and I want to see how his thing does. Diablo Three Necromancer, yes, it is. It should actually come out, I think, in like two patches or so. Andrew. Something like that. Yeah. I've been waiting. That's why I won't play the Diablo right now, is because they haven't added anything new since they added that like Winter Isle bullcrap or whatever, where the trees got hit by lightning and came alive. Oh wow! Oh yeah, it was cool. Like I played, I played, and I have a couple level seventies and uh paragon level like 300 Did or you guys something check out arc great game yeah i no, didn't have good. it unfortunately so i didn't get to it i've been checking out some other betas like the mxm beta which came out uh, a couple days ago on the 6th you um, and me playing chogal on heroes of the storm Ooh, i need to get come on, on then i got i got chogal i have i think i almost have a skin help me get my level five yeah we oh, pl geez. i play overwatch and he plays overwatch on ps4 too so mm -hmm. We both do a fair amount of gaming, I'd say, too. I do a lot of streaming and stuff on yeah, games, so if you want to catch me. I, I kind of casually play. I'm not as good as Axel. But it's because I, I do mine as a as a endeavor with a group. Yeah, and exactly. like there's And we did do some professional, like, my one guy is a, was a professional TF2 guy I mean, for a geez, while. I mean, geez, if the dream comes true, if it ever comes true, that things bye, will pass Bye, Susie. Over, have fun doing be a your good thing. One. Thanks See for you, listening. Susie. But and, yeah, man, you get my point, though. I mean, it's like if they ever cross over those things. Why don't they never cross over it's consoles? Just like, come on, you know which one does have in. crossover? GTA, or not GTA, Gears of War 4 has cross 
PC and, and Xbox. Xbox, but not PS4. That I can't help that. Sucks. I can't help that. But at I least mean, they did a, one an Xbox original. It's their. It's, it's theirs. Their, it's theirs, but it's also their fault. They need to suck. Overwatch now. I prefer couch co-op and single player. Bye, Susie. Oh well, Overwatch is definitely not couch co-op. I mean, no, no, it's oh, online so co-op your, local. Because uh, that's what tag. I would say. And it, the single player aspect of uh, Overwatch is almost all online. Rocket League does. Yeah, that I I actually have Rocket League as well. I don't play that much, but I will play. Mm. I just I need reasons to play, like and to make content for videos. We do a lot of video content on our, not well. This is my guys easy Rocket League. Yeah, the car, the car game where you play car ball, car soccer, with acceleration. Bye, Susie. Andrew, yeah, dude, hit me up if you start on Overwatch. You, I know you have PS4, so hit me up, dude. I'm so hyped. I just picked up a new game. Uh, I got two. I got like Move or Die and the new that Ooh, one Lord nice. of the Rings War of the North. I'm gonna do that with my Ooh. group and do the whole campaign thing like run through. Let me know how that is. I might have to pick that one up, man. I'm also happy because I have like a lot of my. I had time this last week and I actually worked, so I got a lot of videos. Yeah, edits. Rocket League is actually. Hey, thank yeah, you for uh, the totally. hearts and the love, guys. Gotta get on Rocket League. All of the love. Thank you, Nick. Yep, Rocket League is cross-play with PC and PS4. Ah, cool. So that's nice. They need Very to just nice. make it all, f- and then Nintendo needs to go wi- needs to go online, finally. They've been putting it off too long. Exactly, yeah. Persona I mean, 5, I heard, was great. Vikings, Vikings and Berserk. Berserk. Of, I don't know Vikings. I do know Berserk was, I I'm, I'm assume you're talking about the anime, anime Berserk, Berserk game. Yeah. Which Ooh. I wanted, but it's like sixty dollars, and is it's like, just a tough shell off, man. I mean, it's for like, a one player, for that. a single player campaign yeah, base it's like, game, it's like mm, I have 60. to really have the money and want it, and I really want it, but I really don't have the money. Shooters don't do well with cross platform. <sighs> mm. Can't be that hard. But just imagine the massive amount of players that are on each platform. Like I can how understand each one that, operates but... and how each different will have different metrics. And that, they yeah. do slightly, but at the end uh, of the day, like then you the just day, make a just... standardized input and exactly. then align and those inputs like, to boom. that. Everybody's and it's like, the and that, input. and the the real thing is the what people end up going for that after that is like, well, if you align them all so that they're able to do it, then PC always has easier. Well, yeah, the PC has higher frames, has better, easier control with a mouse. Right on, Jose. Shoot me your um, mouse and keyboard username. versus controller. Depends on the game for me. Yeah, Jose. Shoot for me example, your username, dude, and then I really like most games PS4. on. I really like most games on keyboard, Kevin. But uh, for example, For Honor, I love way more on controller. I have to bring it over so you can both try it. Vikings, Vikings is, a, is dungeon. a dungeon crawl. Nice. That, I love dungeon crawls, man. Is it a PS4 game? Or? I mean, you'll have to play it. I'm sure. Mouse and keyboard versus controller. Let's see, Jose got you on the PS4. Yeah, I know. I, that's why that told him to message me. Mouse and keyboard versus controller. Like I controller. Like, I All love right. I love the What's keyboard up, for almost everything. The thing is, in my experience, for most games, the mouse and keyboard is so much more accurate, with the exception Ooh. of my favorite one being. Check the, out uh, Nick's comment. Overwatch X- won't oh. cross platform. The head guy is actually pissed. Console players try to use keyboard and mouse. Ooh. Yeah, it's because it's easier <laughs> and better. Awesome. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a it's a personal thing. Like some people definitely function better on controller and just have it. Like I've been doing a lot of PC gaming for a long time, so I'm better on PC now. Yeah, like, I, I usually have been a console gamer. Mostly. Oh man, I really should, now that I have Windows 10 on here, I should put my Gears of War on there too. Dude, go for it. Because you can Y'all do should both. Check out I D A R B Fun Game. What what does it stand for, Kevin? I, there's a couple fun games I wanted to check out. One is a keep talking or we all explode or something like that. It's like a oh, puzzle solving yeah, game, but it's it does like a look co-op, like a very little co-op but, puzzle. Yep. I just I got to get my hands on a Breath of the Wild, man. Dude, you got to get a Switch first though. Yeah, and it's just not available anywhere, guys. Dude, I know if a couple. I know Switch. a guy, but like you'd have to. Shell off more. Uh, I don't know. Well, not the buy like, You'd let us use it. Guys. Like, here's the thing. What's the point of making it such a limited stock? You're not making more as much it money. It's like not coming back out in a good size. I'm. I'm just saying, Nintendo shoots themselves in the foot more often than not on a lot of this stuff, and I just don't know why. Um, 
upcoming games marvel's guardian of the galaxy i think comes out t- today or tomorrow uh, a telltale game and then mr shifty for the switch came out hold oh, a telltale game comes out tomorrow Ooh, that or today it might have been today that on up. so i might yeah i was thinking about it too but i think it's one of those other real high level ones uh, i'm down i mean i'll Shoot. do it but I, like oh. i said it's one of those ones where i'm like do i have the one and need versus all this other crap i have to do i think they always underestimate demand the thing is, this is obscene, though. No idea what it stands for. Oh, it's just a game. All right, we'll check it out. Uh, we'll... dot com. Let's check it out right quick. Yep, he'll he'll pull out that while we talk about. Uh, I guess we'll talk about some of our upcoming series as they're going. We talked about X Men Gold a little bit, as well as X Men Blue. X Men Blue, guys, you gotta check out X Men. It's Blue. so like, good. It's so good. It's worth going issue to issue, and there aren't that many comics that I would say. Are worth going issue to issue when they come out. Like I like to wait for about 10, 10 20, 20 maybe. good. You Sometimes know, I'll wait till a whole series. Through. Yeah, then. exactly. Wait till it's done and go through it. Mm-hmm. Then like I'm can... going through some series that I never went through. Like it's just like boom, just. Get I said on. that Thor series. Like it was so much better to read it all the way through because if I had to wait every week for that movie to come out, I would have hated Thor so much. Or no, an unworthy Thor is a little hard to swallow. But I had to figure out what was going on. Yeah, with there me. was no way we were dropping yeah, that. Uh, which out story would you love to be a Telltale Games? Honestly, I dar. I don't know what this is, guys. We're gonna, he's going to check that out. Uh, th- as far as a story to be a Telltale game, you know, I really love the Wolverine stories, and if they did those better, like his backstory stuff, but that's just not happening. So I'm going to go with, like, a Doctor Strange Telltale game. Like, how does he, like, become Ooh, the Sorcerer Supreme? Yes, the... please. Did you ever read Invincible, the comic book series? <sighs> I think so. Mm-mm. I've heard of it though. I've I've had a suggestion. Let me double check. Josh suggested it, Unapog- unapologetically inspired by games like Bomberman, Smash Bros, and NBA Jam. Has a crazy amount of customization, allows spectators to interact with the games they're watching in a way similar to Twitch plays Pokemon. And oh yeah, it was entirely designed by our fans of friends on t- on Twitter. Up to eight players on one console. Console versus console. Oh, this looks interesting. What is this? I'm um, sorry. I'm checking out the image one. It looks like a very classic comic book alien idea thingy. Invincible? Yep. And actually, that's an Invincible 52 cover. So it looks like it is... It is uh... We'll have to check that out. But no, we unfortunately have not. Um, this is just not one of the ones we've checked out. You know, we get what we can and we don't always have it all. Uh, have to get to work. Sorry, Andrew. Have a great night. Thanks. Thank you for coming to the yeah, show. Thank you. Indiana Jones Telltale Game. That'd be pretty dope. It's rare we get Ooh, a good Indiana game to Jones. come. It's that would be awesome. and hardly worth coming over for most. Yeah. I mean, that's fairly true. True. Let's see. What else do we have going on here? We have the new Weapon X stuff. Yeah. It's awesome. Dude, the the so new. Then- recruitment one was amazing mm-hmm. I thought that was awesome. versus punisher oh yeah Oof. that's gonna be great i can't wait to get that one. Oh, it's gonna be classic i guarantee it we've also uh got some great upcoming series that i know about for example uh, i know they're gonna run into a new nova series with richard Ryder. i think really yeah they've set him back into the cancer verse and it's a whole thing mm. Yeah, That's it's going to be interesting. The, I know we have the upcoming Wolverine Hulk hybrid coming, mm-hmm. and the Secret Empire Which is stuff really is really weird looking. Hate Hydra Cap. I hate, 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 we hate. We do hate, not hate. like Hydra Cap, guys. Like, Hydra Cap is the total opposite of what Cap is. Like I said, is. it's that whole meme. It's like, oh man, and I'm a Nazi. He's been Hydra Cap for a while. I started reading up a little bit on it. Guys, he's been Hydra Cap for almost a year, a year probably. probably. A little more now, maybe. Here and some change, give a take. Ever since the Pleasant Hill debacle, which was like exactly. episode series nine, they come out what every and month. We know, by the way, what happened to him. We won't spoil. We don't want. We to, know but... why he is Hydra Crap. Yep, and, and it's it. dumb. Yeah, it's not that that great. I've been wanting to finish Invincible. I'll have to get started on that, Jessica, and then it we'll sounds really it. good. It does. Yeah. We got we a lot of suggestions for it. I think even Izzy has told me. Did you? Uh, it, Thoughts it's on just... the '80s style Thor that people don't like? Hmm? Yeah, I think he's talking kind of about the the new one. Yeah, but I think it's more '80s style because of the song, which is really '70s. It's '70s, yeah. 
But I, I like it. And the other thing is, really, he's not. He's unworthy Thor style. They've modeled him directly, directly after the unworthy, after unworthy Thor. Thor. They gave him his helmet, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I love. I do the like the World War there. Thor storyline, but yep. I think it would have been. And the Planet Hulk tie in a little bit as well. It is. Like, I wonder so that might maybe throw him a movie, out. you know? Yeah. I think it's going to depend on how well that does. I think the if the reviews are really good on this store, so go see it, they might make a Hulk movie. Hopefully it's like 83, 85, 90. Like it's like a Captain America Civil War or a Deadpool. Yeah. And know? so I don't mind it. I Like you said, we talked about the, the feel of it being a lot lighter than the original, the other Thor stories. Yeah. But then also the story the being story darker is still than the dark other ones. As well. like, 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 but right. it's still, there's still some lighthearted humor from Marvel. Side right. And I think and they've just thing. learned that's what makes good movies is you have to have the combination. The Josh Whedon aspect. You don't just do... A comedy with comedy, the comedy has to have tragedy. Exactly. And a tragedy has to have, have comedy. comedy. To balance each other out. Yep. I think it's a good thing, though. I think they're going to do a lot of good work. Other upcoming stuff that I know is we just f- finished the tr- the the Rebirth fix- Explanation series, and they're going into the opening of the Watchmen stuff. Oh, really? Yep. And oh. they've they've finished that, and like they've re- they've finished their kind of most of their retcon reintegration, and mm-hmm. apparently it's really good. I haven't read it all yet because there's a lot to read. But apparently they've done that now. You know what I mean? They got it all reintegrated, the new and post fifty two, etc. Mm-hmm. As well as stuff like that. And I'm interested to see where they take it. It would be hard to make a Hulk movie because of Universal. Firefly was we've a... said it before. Yeah. Yeah, things are start getting way huge in the Thor side of things. Like and World War Hulk crashing in. It's during it's, Infinity Wars. It might be a post Infinity Wars thing though. Yeah. That, that would be that would be incredible. But I think it's like you said, the Universal Studios tie-in, the, the studio issues are always a bigger thing. That's why you'll never see Wolverine and Avengers. Yeah. Uh, Firefly was the perfect example of Josh Whedon's work. Agreed. Too You're bad they never to feel him. out what kind of humor goes with what and what people like, not just stay safe. Agreed. I like yep. how they're not, like, they have their mold, which they're very following now, especially after Guardians did so well. They've followed that mold harsh. Yeah, they've, they've had that lighthearted humor. But then at the same time, we, we see a lot of experimentation. Like, as, as lighthearted as Doctor Strange was, there's a lot of dark stuff in there. I mean, very dark stuff. I mean, think about it, you know. The even unfortunate things that happen to some of the characters in the movie, and mm-hmm. it's just, you know... It's it's crazy things that happen in this movie that are tragic. Yeah. But at the same time, you have that lighthearted humor to balance it. What I also think is helping is that on the other side, we have the TV shows being this dark, What's raunchy... What's up, Twee? Good to see you. Oh, wow, Twee? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hi, Twee. I think that's my... Um, there's a lot of Twees, but... No, that's a different Twee, I think. I don't know. Hard to say. Hi, Twee. At least... Oh, that... I... Saw that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they, but like they have a, a good balance. Yeah, and like I said, the other thing good, that we're having good is that while we have these lighthearted movies on the other side, Marvel is killing it on the dark, dark TV, side, shows. TV shows. Every yes, show is are. intense. Like Daredevil, Netflix, people Legion. are just getting their arms cut off. Things oh, are just happening, guys. Like people man. are getting their heads squashed in, and it's like there are other series as well. Even even Iron Fist has some crazy scenes that go on. I think they. If they're smart, they'll tie him in. Yeah. Because the tie-in is what makes the familiarity. But they were saying that they might not. I don't think they will. I, I mean, but it's they're, Sony. They're, it's Sony. They don't have the rights to do it, and they're not going to chunk out some money for it. But realistically, that's the problem. No one wants to pay, and no one wants to not pay, yeah. or not get paid. You know what I mean? So Nobody wants to be like, oh, okay, here's no. my character. Yeah, you can use the character for this movie. Just promise you, let me use your character next movie. And there's, no, <laughs> yeah, exactly. there's no mutual trust. There's no trading. It's all like, all right, we need this many millions of dollars of this percentage. And if they it's don't want to give just, it or not uh, accept it, then it's fucked. Least favorite or wait, and most favorite Marvel yeah, show. Least favorite Marvel show, top, easy, Jessica Jones. Worst Least one, favorite. hated yeah, Jessica so much. Jones. My most favorite one is uh, hmm, Daredevil season two. Yep, still top. Absolutely. Oh man, that Legion is, is so one. good. Legion though, is really good. It's but Daredevil there. season two, even watching again, the problem with Daredevil season two being that its ending was a little not as strong. Yeah, it was a little. But the dip. rest of the series was so powerful with the Punisher that you couldn't help it. Wow, I like mean, it's just, just the perfect example of a comic book series. The metalhead because... scene where it just pops up and looks all psycho. Oh. Mm-hmm. Even the last scene where he shows up and helps him with the ninjas, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Also, why? 
Uh, it, it's just so comic book accurate. And yeah, it has him actually depicted in the suit. And it has him actually even more than that. Like he he interacts with the Punisher, Punisher and, Electra, and Electra, which is a huge part of comics, guys. Lots of rope ins too. Like there's lots of other involvement. Yep, with other they, characters. There's a lot of character the development. A little yep. bit. Like it's and, just... and they have character development without it having being too stagnant. At least in the first couple episodes. Uh, the last couple episodes, they once again have a thing, but it's because they're leading into Defenders. Daredevil is the best for me. Yes. What's up, Susie? And the and my reasoning for Jessica Jones not being my favorite is because it's the slowest for me to start, and it has the most unrelatable, and, unlikable hero. And the Purple Man was such a good part of that series. He's such a and great portrayer he, of him. And, and so when he's gone, when he's gone, we it's lose like a lot whatever, of that. Like yeah, her, there's just a lack of interest. In like then, what's her thing? It's like, oh well, her thing's over. Her enemy's dead. Cool. She's going to jail, or probably, but who cares? And. No, she's good at the end of her story. Yeah, that's line. right. She I gets mean, away with it. Luke Cage Whereas is Luke, unfortunate. Yeah, it goes to jail. If you don't know that, we're getting gearing up for the Defenders. You need to get caught up. I'm having so many issues finishing Jessica Jones because it's so dark, and I can't watch Luke Cage till after I finish it. But I love Daredevil. You could definitely watch Luke Cage. Luke Cage, before. you can watch. Yeah, there's no spoilers. Trust me. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's totally there's unrelated. There's no tie-ins really. It's, very it's little a story. It'll, unless you're huge. like, yeah, there's very little that you can get from that. Welcome back, I mean, Susie. Iron I was Fist quick. had the hands and movie so. mostly will have a Guardians vibe to it. Is it a space thing, or do they just know people enjoy it? I think it's both. So I think they're trying to make the cosmic vibe kind of this like outer trippy space thing, and they have. They have been they using have. Guardians as a template since it did so well mm -hmm. to make their movies pop. Like same thing with Avengers. They do their Avengers movies in that same freaking style. Every Avengers movie is like crisis resolution. Bam, Bam. perfect. That's the oh, Avenging. Yep. And there's we're there's bad. always we're okay. not we're only good. that then you have Team Strife which is a huge part of the Avengers even mm -hmm. in their normal storyline, and that's in every single Avengers movie. And I expect will be in Infinity Wars, huge part of Infinity Wars will be there trying to get together in all these teams to mm -hmm. work as a to team. Work as a team because that's the thing is the Infinity they're, Wars they're building it up that team and that's what I want to see. I wanted to be Infinity Wars to be a cross of Guardians, and. Avengers, Avengers yep. because Iron Man is basically the precursor, the precursor to, the, to Guardians the Guardians feel. Because yep. don't get me, and only saying that because Iron Man is a solo film, whereas Guardians is a group film. But he also had that humor, you know. He had it did, the, but the that's what I'm saying humor. is why it's the precursor is that it doesn't do to the same level only because Tony is alone as a cast character, and that yeah, in Guardians exactly. there's a full cast full of people cast. to, to run comedy. Characters. Yeah, it's a huge where they did it in Avengers too, but Avengers. Had that, but much more of the serious, like, you know. What show would you love to see out of any comic universe? That's uh, true. They a, get the Punisher series, right? It'd be a, great good, a good X-Men series would be awesome. I'd like to I'd see. Love they're to supposed see to do depicting. one, right? The, yeah, the uh, Runaways. Isn't that coming up? That is, but that's technically not, not X-Men. But The it's, New it's Mutants, mutants but... are getting one, I think. Yeah, right? yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, something like uh, that. I would... Uh, yeah, I have to say, X Men are still my favorite, and they'd never get the shows right. Live or action. like maybe even a cool Spider Man if they went spoilers. that way after <laughs> Homecoming. Like we'll, we'll, we'll I'd get be too down. many spoilers, Susie. Sorry. Uh, if they get the Punisher series right, that might change. You are right, Jose. Will Infinity Wars two be a comic book name? They did say Infinity Wars two. What? That's not going to be the name. But how was Legion? Awesome, awesome, awesome <sighs> in its Great. entirety. It just. It, it gets better every, every single, single episode. Every single episode ramps up in pace and boom, boom, awesomeness. Boom, just yep. boom, boom. With the exception of like episode five, where they take a little bit of a like a, a drug trip episode. Yeah, they just, it's the crazy it is, stuff. It's de and that's why it's not on my top one is because while it's a great series, it's not a the greatest comic book depiction series. Nah. It's depicted very much like a horror film almost. Mm -hmm. And uh, like a oh, mind gee, X Men show would make me so happy. So much too, Nick. Yes. You have no idea how much we love that. Yes, um, Nick. And I think we have a. I don't know if we wanted to run a little late today, but if we're doing the regular time, we have. It's about that time we a start wrapping minutes. up. Yeah. You know? Wow. Sorry about our technical difficulties earlier. We'll figure out some stuff with the intro trailer stuff. We'll get our own song, get our own stuff going, and get our image. Maybe slide even show interact going. with a couple of local artists, see if we can feature their stuff in the yep. meeting or something. We're also talking. We've been talking about, especially after Leo went to some. Uh, some. I went to a convention today. I went to a workshop. Workshop. Actually, that was and, the one I was. Looking um, for. I have met an associate, and he said maybe we might start live streaming at comic shops. Like, may, might be able to. Reach I also out forgot and... to contact Andrew today before the at the beginning of the stream. We'll do a next stream at the latest to to remind people. You know, share it in other groups. If you're if you have a group, you want to share it, and feel free. We're never. Yeah, feel free to share us in a group. 
Um, but we did we, have another guy that wanted to share us in one of his groups, right? Yeah, we had him asking. Uh, thank you so much for asking. He actually won a prize that night too, yeah. which was pretty thank lucky. Uh, trust me, we didn't rig that. I swear. Oh, thanks, uh, thank Nick. you so much, Nick. I'm thank really you. enjoying the group, by the way. A lot more interaction than the like page. I think. Uh, I think so. Yeah, uh, it's just hard. It's easier for you guys to put stuff on that page, so it's a lot easier for us to interact. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I will say, even with the group page, people are still not claiming prizes sometimes, which no. happens. It happens. I think, and then we'll do what? We'll do two drawings today. We'll do two drawings. We'll uh, shoot a picture that's four f between four Thor comics. Uh, we'll we'll have that posted up by tomorrow. You'll have till Monday to pick it up. Uh, as we finish out, though, we're going to scroll down on our comic stuff and uh, see some classic, you know, uh, what are some classic comics, some quotes, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I think there's a ton of stuff we can talk about. I love having my little gallery of memes because that's where I get all mine from. <laughs> yeah, that little gallery is so nice. I'm, I've actually got a set until, like, the 9th of next month or something. I got to go unlimited. I'm going to uh, so, Spider-Man. Nice. Uh, that's a it's a good one. I gotta say, man, the there's a ton of them that really hit me. But I think this one's one of my favorites. I don't know if I said this last week or not, but it's uh just a comic quote, comic fact, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Avengers contingency plans for the Hulk and Ultron are, are the same, throwing them directly into the heart of the sun. Whew. Pretty harsh. Uh, and what, whether people will mention that, oh no, the actual plan is to teleport them into the negative zone. That's actually Tony Stark and Black Panther's plan, not the Avengers yeah, plan. Yeah, and that's a secret contingency plan that they haven't shared with anyone. Yep. Um, they kept it to themselves, and that's it. Indeed, indeed. Scroll to my fact. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. Which is, uh, I just shared it today in the group, actually, when Mjolnir was damaged. Doctor Strange bound the Thor's soul in the Mjolnir, meaning that if the hammer were to be broken again, Thor may die. Which is crazy because where we are at Thor in the comic size, it looks like Thor, ever. it's like All the hammer's in Jane's hand. And not to say that it's gonna break in her hands. No, I mean the hammer like, has broken before. Geez, his soul it. is bound to and he still can't lift it. Yeah. Because of what he said and, and the being that this is a Thor one, I also want to give a Thor another Thor fact. Um, even without Mjolnir, Thor is able to manipulate enough thunder to severely damage the Collector's ship, which is large enough to carry the entire realm of Asgard. That's pretty big, guys, to give you some perspective. Like, to put it in like perspective, that's uh, Earth and like the, a lot of the universe it resides in is a realm yeah. like, to itself. Ah, and then we posted this one, another one that was in oh, Comic yes. Combo. That was a good one. Um, Ghost Rider can't judge if Deadpool is guilty or not. When Ghost Rider used his penance stare on Deadpool, he saw everything that happened to him and caused Ghost Rider to revert back to Johnny Blaze. It's an interesting comic. Interesting. I don't know if it's canon. It's like, it, I can't it, remember. Yeah, it's canon. It is. I don't remember the comic it's from. I mean, I've seen the comic, but I don't know if that comic is canon. I think it is, though. It might be. I'm going to have to look it up. I, I just don't remember it from. I always have to remember. I know the Punisher's one might not be canon either. Uh, I know the Daredevil thing is totally canon, but... His, here's my last fact for you guys, and it's a one, hopefully, a picture that'll be coming up later in the weeks. Uh, Amadeus Cho, the new Incredible Hulk, is able to rip apart Black Panther's Vibranium Hulk Buster suit, despite it having gamma-draining technology. Jeez, man. Yeah. He is, That's insane. I like it. There's another... Uh, it was a, there's another quote that he does later when he does get beat up. It's funny, but he's like, you know, T'Challa didn't understand it. I didn't understand it either, but if you don't get it. it you can't, you can't stop. stop. He is, he's one of those forces of nature. There's very few things that can deal with the Hulk. Um, do we have anything else we want to kind of go over? Or do you guys have anything you want to yeah, go over? What else do we have for guys? Last couple Let minutes? us know. I mean, we got a couple more minutes here that maybe we can touch on a few things i mean i will say my recommended comic this hey, week guys you got beta ray x-men blue x-men blue is such a good comic guys it's definitely you guys have issue. to check you it have out to check it out uh nicholas says if you want to uh check out invincible leo just let him know uh you know 
Yeah, that, I'll let Leo do that. Thank you, uh, Kevin Maskin. Yeah, Beta Ray, that'll be great. Uh, thank you, Kai, for the or Sai for the facts. Love. We try to find as many facts and quotes as we yep. can, you know, and take them directly from the comics. And we love comics and the movies and everything. We just exactly. love it all. Sometimes we'll we love make talking our own. with you. Oh yeah. So hopefully we're getting into some of that eventually. But for now, I think that's episode thirteen. Episode thirteen, guys. And uh, we'll see you next week yeah, for episode fourteen. We'll see you 14. next week. Take care, everyone. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.